I'm just wrapping some of our sandpiper collection that's ready to go out for delivery. Uh, a lot of people at our market um, bought uh, some of our tote bags, our little zipper bags like this one, um, and uh, they were so popular that we actually sold out. So we've just been waiting for some more stock to come in. And uh, so as the stock come in, is coming in, I'm wrapping them ready for delivery. And so if you bought um, one of the Sandpiper collection and, you, uh, and you're still waiting, please be patient, they're on their way. Um, I will be in touch as soon as they're here. Um, but it's always nice to be able to wrap them with our little Sandpiper cards and put them in the bags and get them delivered, ready for Christmas for people. So that's really exciting. But we've also been, this week has been kind of one of those unglamorous weeks. Um, the Christmas market was such a huge success, but obviously after such an amazing event like that, you have to clear up. <laughs> so uh, this week has been uh, a little bit chaotic in the sense that we've been trying to put that manor back together. Um, and I have, uh, I had a few people who actually asked me at the market whether we live here. And uh, the answer to that is yes, we do live here. Um, I think when you were walking around the market and saw the whole house like a Christmas market, it was probably hard to understand where on earth we live. Um, but we basically just move around from room to room depending on which room we're restoring and renovating. Um, but this week we have put the house back together. Um, so I'm gonna show you kind of what it now looks like. Uh, and I've also, I'm gonna show you one part of the manor that you have never seen before. In fact, we've never shown I don't think we've shown anyone this part of the manor and it's a really exciting part so stay tuned till uh, later in the video because you'll get to see that but uh, let me show you what the manor now looks like after we've done some clear up after the market. So this room as you remember was completely filled with so many treasures and it's looking a little bit different now it's looking back to its old manor look um, but it's still looking just beautiful. We have our big cabinet back in here, which we had our cake competition in, and that's been returned to its home uh, next to our uh, gorgeous uh, uh, Christmas tree. Um, we have our couches and our chairs back in, uh, our rocking horse is back in here, and uh, it's just a really, really cozy um, reception room. We even have Jackson's favorite chair back in the corner with Phil the pheasant, um, to keep him company and then in our music room we have put back our chairs and our rug and it's just really just a lovely warm cozy room now uh, you can see Hendrix enjoying that chair and uh, it looks very very different to what it looked like at the market if you remember the market just was there were so many great things in here and I kind of almost felt like I wanted to keep all those beautiful items um, and treasures in here but uh, it's back to looking a little bit more like a manor house and uh, we still have a lot of work to do in both these rooms. We're going to be getting uh, different furniture, there's going to be more um, panelling going on, there's more decoration. We're going to be putting a beautiful watercolour mural on one of the walls. Um, just started making a little bar over here with this beautiful writing desk for Christmas. So I'll be able to show you what that looks like next week. Um, but uh, it's starting, well, it's starting to look a little bit, as they say, like Christmas in here, um, a little bit less like a Christmas market and more like a manor house. So you can see that our dining room has also changed a lot since the market. Um, we have obviously put the tables back in the middle to make it look more like a dining room. Um, we've still got some rugs and some other furniture to go in, uh, but we have added this gorgeous piece of furniture. Now this is a piece that we actually found at the auction a while back and Lisa from the Painted Pineapple painted this for us. In fact, if you were at the market, you probably remember it from her booth and uh, she did such an amazing job. It has to be probably my favorite piece of furniture in the house now. So that has now got pride of place in our dining room. Uh, we've changed up our uh, mantle a little bit since the market. Um, you'll remember if you were here that it was a little bit more traditional, but now um, for a photo shoot, we made it a little bit more white and neutral and um, it looks really pretty. And I think I'm probably gonna change it again before Christmas. So you'll have to stay tuned to see what I do with that next. Um, we've added, uh, we put back in this piece of furniture. You can see it's totally empty right now. Haven't even had a chance to put anything in. Um, and then we've moved our 
a beautiful red couch in that uh, everyone enjoyed out in the photo booth with the Christmas tree and our mannequin uh, Christmas tree lady who is now taking pride of place in the, at the end of the dining room. So it's really looking very Christmassy and it just amazes me every time we um, do events or create experiences in this space how different the space can look just by moving the furniture and the decor around. So look who's back. Lucy is back for another year and if you have been following us for a while you'll know that Lucy is our Christmas elf. She comes every December and she gets up to all sorts of mischief in the manor. So each day we post on Instagram and Facebook what she's been up to. Um, but uh, today she is being very restrained sitting out on the uh, porch. Um, so you'll have to stay tuned and watch each day to see what Lucy gets up to. Today I thought I would take you on a little adventure uh, to a place in the manor that we have never shown on any of our videos. And I am actually down in the basement. It's kind of, it's a little cold down here, so I'm bundled up. Um, but you can see behind me this amazing old door. Now, this is um, an old refrigerated pantry that would have been here years ago um, and would have been used for storing food and supplies. Um, now, it's not working now, but it's still here. So we are going to be cleaning it up and getting it back into use because it will be such a great place for us to store so many things. But I just love the idea that people in the past used this to store their food and I can imagine them coming downstairs and um, using it and, and choosing what they're gonna, um, their supplies and taking them upstairs again. But it just feels like it's got so much history and uh, the door is so massive it's like i can't even imagine um getting stuck inside I, I just yeah it's so um we're always very cautious about the lock because we don't want to get to get stuck with us inside but um it's just such an awesome place that uh, we're going to be uh renovating or restoring it back to its original glory and allowing us to use it now because there's only two of us, you know, it's not like the, the shows on TV where you watch the show and uh, five seconds later, oh, it's all done. So it's gonna take a bit longer than that. So unfortunately I can't show you what it's gonna look like when it's done yet, but I'm excited about using this space again. Um, I feel like we'll be using part of the history of the house. So today I found Lucy up to her old tricks, swinging from the chandelier. I'm just working on all the final details for our 12 days of Christmas. Now, if you remember last year, we did our advent calendar. So we did a video each day for the month of December. This year, we're changing it up a little bit and we're gonna do the 12 days of Christmas. We're gonna start on the 12th of December. It'll run through to the 24th of December. And each day there will be a video um, that we post in our Facebook group. Now, last year, our Facebook group, we I think it was called the Christmas Advent Calendar. We're gonna change the name this year um, because obviously we're not doing an advent calendar, but it's the same group. I will post the link in the comments below this video if you would like to join. So all the videos for our 12 days of Christmas will be posted in that group. And so you can join that group and join us for 12 days of Christmas. And uh, I've got some really exciting ideas and a, a little project that we're gonna be doing each day for the 12 days. Uh, we're gonna include the 12 days of kindness. Um, and I can't wait to tell you all about it. So um, I will be, uh, like I say, posting the link on our Facebook and Instagram to invite people to our group. If you're already in there, you're gonna see everything. Over the next week, you'll start to see all the information um, about the 12, day, 12 days of Christmas that are gonna start on the 12th of December. And if you're not in the group, go below this uh, video and click on the link and join um, so that you don't miss any of the 12 videos that we be, will be putting out. And if there's something that you can think of that you would love to see in our 12 days of Christmas, videos, let me know. Comment or send me a message on Facebook, Instagram, email me. Um, because if there's something you'd love to see us do here at the Manor 
over those 12 days, we would love to put it in our video. So let me know if there's something special that you would like to see or something that you saw last year in the advent calendar that you loved, um, because we'd love to um, uh, include anything that you really enjoyed. But uh, I am really looking forward to being able to share all the details of the 12 days. Um, it's gonna be a fun 12 days and uh, I'm looking forward to make it, putting all to get the videos together and uh, sharing them with you. So I'm gonna get back to working on my 12 days of Christmas and I look forward to seeing you not only in our Facebook group, uh, our Christmas Facebook groups for the 12 days of Christmas, but also on our next episode of the Lady of Smith Manor's Diaries next week.